Hiya friends, prepared Suburbanite back at you. Um, today has been just a wonderful day. Um, after we got done with uh, church service this morning, my wife and I decided to uh, plant some of our spring vegetables out there. So we got the uh, bush beans in, we've got some carrots in, and we planted our favorite flower, the zinnias, and uh, some wildflowers in certain places that we uh, hope that draws the pollinators into our garden area. But what I'd like to talk about today is um, some questions that I want to ask the Prepper community. And I can only assume that most of the people that uh, frequent this channel are really um, preppers at heart anyway. And um, I've got some questions that I'd like to get some answers to. So stick around. With that said, here we go. Um, I, I think one of the biggest things for me right now is, and this is question number one, what is the biggest threat that we as a prepper community face today? Now, I've got my thoughts on what that threat is or those threats are, and uh, I'll be sharing my thoughts on all three of the questions that I've got in my next video. Those will be my thoughts, but I'd like to hear what you all have to say. So question number one, what is the biggest threat that we as a prepper community face today. And related to that is, and, and um, what, what is the most important prep for you? And I've got to qualify this a little bit and say that aside from the basics, and we're talking food, shelter, and water, those are the basics the way at least I see it. What is the next most important prep for you? And what are you engaged in right now to achieve that prepping goal? So that was question number two. Question number three comes up right now. How would you rate yourself on a scale of preparedness? If you can remember uh, back a few years ago, the History Channel used to run uh, uh, the uh, crazy prepper thing, and they'd have a group of folks that were supposedly experts in preparedness that would rate each individual uh, or our group on a scale that they would uh, um, be able to survive and they gave them certain points for this and that. But I don't want to get into that level of detail. But how would you rate yourself? Are you a beginner prepper? And you can define that any way you want. If you're just getting started, you may consider your, uh, yourself a beginner in uh, the scale of prepping. And I don't know what that means for you. I think it's all relative. So then you go from beginner to intermediate. Well, what does intermediate prepping, uh, being prepared, the level of preparedness, what does that mean to you? And are you there yet? And what do you need to do to get there? And if you think you're advanced, an advanced prepper, 
and you've got all the bases covered, why do you think you've got all the bases covered? And what are you striving for to achieve that level of advanced preparedness? And what else do you need to be doing? Um, I, I did a video like this a, a couple of months ago, and I got an awful lot of great comments, and I do appreciate all those comments because I learn an awful lot from the comments that come in on this channel when I ask these kinds of prepper questions. And I think the folks that would be inclined to view this um, kind of video would also learn from your experiences being um, in the prepper community, being involved as a prepper. Um, that's where we can share knowledge back and forth so that we can all become just a little bit better, better prepared, ready to face whatever threats that are out there ready to challenge us for the future. If you found anything in this video, any of the questions or any of the comments helpful, please let me know by giving us a thumbs up and share this video where you can and make sure you're subscribed. This is the Prepared Suburbanite reminding you to be prepared always, and I'll see you all on the next video.